Hey everyone, Alex here with Systems Refined, and today I want to talk to you about checklists. I used to actually never use checklists or templates because I didn't really think I needed them. Uh, but when I started forgetting like little things such as um, a call to action on a Facebook uh, post or ad after I just completed this massive marketing campaign, uh, I, I realized that maybe I probably should start using one. I mean, we all make mistakes, uh, but I try not to make the same ones uh, again and again, so I will usually try to find a way to make sure it doesn't happen again. So I wanted to create some blueprints or processes and checklists uh, so that I wouldn't forget those little but really important steps anymore. So I created them in Word at first, uh, Microsoft Word, and I started storing them in like my folders in the computer, like on the desktop. Um, but the problem was I had two computers. So there would be times where I needed a checklist and it was on a different computer. So I started carrying around an external hard drive. Now, I know what you're thinking, like why didn't you just store it on Google Drive? Well, I really liked the Microsoft products, so I was like, no, I am not gonna use Google Drive, I'm gonna continue using Word and um, just carry a hard drive. Well, after a while, I got irritated or annoyed um, constantly carrying around a hard drive, so I eventually caved and started putting everything into Google Drive. So I had, uh, you know, once uh, I put everything in Google Drive, I had it all laid out, and um, I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. Like, I just never really got into the whole Google Drive or Dropbox thing. Like, I just I don't care for it. But um, I thought to myself, I mean, I was using a sonnet time, and I thought to myself, hey, this actually might work. Because the way that it's laid out, especially the list view, it's, it could easily be used as a checklist. So I started, I started out by putting just like one checklist that I used um, on a regular basis. And I used it for a couple of days and I actually started to like it because I like the whole like checkbox thing. You know, you check the box and it kind of goes away. And um, you can kind of drag him and adjust them if you need to, if it's not in the right order. And you can even dive a little bit deeper into the tasks um, if you need a little bit more information. So I really like that about that, uh, about that feature. So I started creating all of my checklists and templates inside of Asana. So I actually have quite a few now, and I actually plan on giving them away for free, uh, but not yet because I still need to put some final touches on them. But I do want to show you one of the templates that I use very regularly. This is my creating video content checklist. Now I first start off by naming the actual project uh, in brackets checklist so that I know that it's an actual checklist. And uh, if you're wondering, I'm actually on this step right here. So what I really like about Asana is that it's easily laid out and when you complete a task, all you have to do is click on the check mark and it goes away. But what I also like about it is that you can dive a little bit deeper into these tasks. So if I click on the first one, you can see that I can do, uh, you can see that I do a little bit of research at answerthepublic.com and then I will pick a type of video that I want to create. And right now this is more of a how-to video or, or a tips, uh, not really a list, but like a, a tips video. Next I'll create the outline and uh, usually I will answer these questions and then I will do the screencast. And um, then I'll go through my uploading the video on YouTube and I actually have a YouTube checklist and same with uh, LinkedIn and Facebook. So this is uh, kind of how I create my video content. This is the checklist that I go through. Um, I, I haven't really been using the website one. I, I, you know, it's not something that it's a priority for me. So, so I kind of just do the social media. But that's, that's kind of it. That's what I use for creating video content. If you have any questions about creating checklists in Asana, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, keep your eye out for any videos or posts because I'll be giving away all of my checklists and templates soon, so you don't want to, you don't want to miss that. Uh, don't forget to click that like button and click on subscribe to see more of my Asana Tips videos. I hope you find this video valuable and I hope you have a productive day.